and we are back. And I'm playing new content. New Actually, stuff we haven't played yet. This is from the demo, so it's still not new. Wait, it's not? No, this is where the demo starts. So I'm like, okay. Oh, you played the demo. Okay. Yeah, I played the demo because I wanted to get a feel for if I actually liked where the direction was going because I liked DMC4, uh -huh. but I played it so long ago. Um, I just didn't know. Like, a lot of people didn't like DMC, the remake. Even though I, mean, I enjoyed it's, it. It's hack and slash. Wouldn't if you if you like hack and slash, don't they all kind of play similar? I mean, yeah, kind of. And I mean, I like fighting games, so hack and slash are kind of the uh, cousin I, of fighting I, games I, in I, a way. I figured you would like hack and slash more than anything, being someone who hates waiting to get opportunities to attack things. That is one reason why. I heard Bloodborne is more of that nature too, where it's like, hey, you always have an opportunity to attack, and it's less about waiting, like Oh, uh, Dark Bloodborne Souls. versus Dark Souls? Yeah, Bloodborne yeah. versus Dark Souls. When I saw it, I was like, oh, I might have actually liked that game. Yeah, I think a lot of Dark Souls is like rolling out of damage and, and dodging and stuff like that. And I don't I think mind if Bloodborne... that's an option. I just don't like when that's the best option. Like, okay. That's, that's the strat. Yeah. yeah it's... Um, or, Which or... is funny because I play a paladin in like tons of games. And yet I don't like using playing sword and shields in games like... Yeah, Dark Souls. I heard, I heard. Or that. Monster Hunter. And I've only played one Dark Souls game, and I haven't played Bloodborne. So, but I've heard Bloodborne is a lot more like uh, use your gun to mm -hmm. like parry moves or do do something I'm with it. So it's a lot more active combat. Uh, Sekiro. Why do I keep on Sekiro? Sekiro. I've heard next I've, the subway and cross with the borrow. I've. <laughs> Does so say it's kind Sissy of gross more? and kind of delicious? Kind of gross and kind of delicious. Sabaro was always one of the things like, oh man, the pizza's so huge, it must be good. And as you got older, you're like, wow, this pizza's actually trash. I actually like Sabaro, man. Really? Yeah. Okay, I mean, all pizza is godly, but, you know, Sabaro, it, it always failed to meet the expectations of what I wanted it to be. I but mean, it's if you said, "Hey, let's go to Sabaro," right? I'm like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's get in the car." I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to the mall to go to Sabaro. But if I was there and I wanted pizza, I'd be like, "Yeah, cool. This is fine. Yeah, yeah get a slice." I think it was always just disappointing because how expensive it was and how, even though you got a lot, it didn't feel like a lot. Yeah, I think I always got the calzone when I went there. Pepperoni no! calzone. Wow, fucking smooth, man. Yeah. Is there I mean, I think there? you wanted to go down there. Is maybe. there anything down here? There After avoiding it. Into the I'm, hole for you. Oh, Ew. I guess I gotta trigger something then. Yep. Could I just have avoided that thing? <sighs> just walked around and like, nah, I don't feel like doing it. You know this. what? It might not have let you go further. It might have not. Even though it's on the other side. It's kind of cool that they... They uh, probably didn't expect me to have that move yet. Hair interiors. It's, it's kind of cool how they have your cutscene match your arm that you currently have equipped. I love when games do that. Where they do the little dynamic... Uh, changes. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things from games like Final Fantasy XIV. Whenever they have cutscenes, it takes the armor you're in. And even though that's an MMO and you should do that. Yeah, fucking auto. I would, you would hope so. Yeah. But it's still just... I, I, I think it's I a nice touch. It. Yeah. Yeah. These guys don't look too hard, man. Well, it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't help them that I'm a little bit, uh, a little powerful. OP? A little, little, uh, little punch in my, uh, kicks. Yeah, a little, a little couple extra hippity hops in your step. A little hippity hops in my step. Got, uh, visited the bunny wizard in, uh, Hyrule, and he gave me this real cool thing that let me double jump. Bunny wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to play the new, uh... Legend of Zelda, the Link's Awakening one or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. That, that's that gonna be cool, cool. man. Cool. Um... Of course, I say that not having a Switch. <laughs> no, I'll let you play that. If you want to play that, I'll buy it and then we'll play it on. You can play it on the channel. Because I've beaten Link's Awakening. I, I did too, but I did it so long ago. I did it pretty recently. On the Game Boy. I beat it on the Game Boy probably like three or four years ago. Really? So I did it pretty recently. But I'd love to see the. I love the art style of the mm -hmm. new one. So if you're if you really want to play that, I'll probably pick it up because maybe I'll play through it again on my own. A lot of people don't like the art style, but I like that they're taking the old game and making it this new art style because it's like the apocalypse if you... happens good thing we saw phone booths yeah because it's like you if i don't like it okay well then play the old one well the people said the very same thing when wind waker came out and it's funny because i felt well, initially I... jarred too when that game got announced i think it could be a little different with wind waker because this is a remake it's like it's just art style and updated 
Whereas a whole new game, you're like, well, I want to play the new game, but if you don't like the art style, you're kind of turned off. This is, it's an existing game, so you're like, okay, I don't like this art style, so I'll play the old one. Or if I do, then I'll play the new one, you know? It's kind of nice in that aspect. So this is, I think, this is the part in the game and then no the demo as well, where they allow you to customize. They're like, this is the first opportunity, really, where like, hey, you want to upgrade? You want to buy some things? I got a lot I'm selling for you. I mean, you already bought a lot. I, I already bought a lot of things. <laughs> um, what have I not bought? Street, Street 2? Ooh, greatly I mean, learned my range, yeah. Yes. Won't you want to buy everything anyway, right? Yes, I will. Um, I mean, I, you probably won't get enough without grinding, but probably not. we've kind of done a little grinding. Breaker plus. Honestly. Get another magazine. I can have eight arms? That's nuts. Um, I, I, we got to figure out if you can cycle through the arms or if you have to go through in the order ooh. that you pick them up, you know? Yeah, I don't know, but I love anything that gives me more mobility is usually what I pick first. Yeah, I, I learned that in, uh, uh, what's the one where we were fighting kinda against? Kind of salty. It's kind of <laughs> smelly. Where we were fighting as like samurai dudes with the guns and we, uh. Samurai dudes with guns. Had the, uh, we were fighting. Battle block theater. That's the one. No. <laughs> we were fighting the animal things, like there was the frogs and then the seal dudes. We had to go northeast, Seal south, and dudes. west. What the fuck is it called? Beast, you mean? Yes. <laughs> oh boy! People think. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I wanted him to just like, just as it finished rolling, just walk out the other end, like he just continued walking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that called? It was a uh, hyperlight was drifter. Oh yeah. Wow. That game was fun. Wow. Hellboy. Oh baby. Is dude that is, North Faratu? That dude is huge. Oh man, you hey, get you. Yeah, it's probably really terrible to go to your optometrist. They probably just don't know which game? lens to look I through. To I was gonna say dentist. Look at all them. Look at all them teeth. Look at all them jagged teeth. I mean, he's oh, got man. he's even got teeth in his belly. You make sharks envious with that kind of teeth. Even your gums don't open all the way. Ooh, ooh, he's gonna kill you, buddy. He's got a lot of eyes. He's got eyes on his stomach. He's got eyes where his thingamajig should be. You? I don't know. I mean, you're a big guy. I mean, Johnny, give him some clothes. Give, give him a break. He's really ugly. You know, no one probably wants to date him. It's really hard for a guy with that many eyes to find someone with equal eye and mouth ratios. It's, it's good to have aspirations and dreams. I mean, Mr. Demon Man, he finds it hard. He wants to make out with his stomach mouth and his top mouth at the same time, and there's not a lot of demonesses that are available in that category. He's kind of one of a kind in that area. And then he likes to eat his children, you know, I mean, like demons do, or so that's, I've been told. Uh, that's, oh. uh, that's how he eats them. Well, we know how that guy gets down, and it's not pretty. <laughs> I was going to mention earlier how I like uh, uh, how the oh, bear, uh, bear midriff was on the girl earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm not really liking uh, this guy's bear midriff. It's, uh, it's just not as attractive. Goliath in cadets and colossus. Is it bad that when he said cool trick, do you do parties? All I could think about was the girl that puts ping pongs inside of her and pops them out because he put all that stuff inside of him and popped it out. And he mentioned the parties thing. Ooh. Uh, you got him, man. Just a ping pong. No, it's a, it's a. Uh, I'm trying to think of what movie it was in, but it was, it was different. Uh, she, she Superman? puts it into her hoo ha. Oh. And pops him out. Oh, that's probably a her name was Pebbles. Movie, right? Nah, I don't think so. I've Whoa. Never seen those movies. And I remember thinking of a Ryan Reynolds along. It's like he can't play a superhero, and then he proved me wrong with Deadpool. That would be like saying that what's her face can't whoa, can't play the girl in Wreck It Ralph because she had you know oh, like yeah. some unsavory bits. Which I love uh, her character in Sarah uh, Silverman. Sarah Silverman in that is like wow because I didn't think it was gonna work. I didn't think so either. I, and I really didn't care for Sarah Silverman's voice. So I was like, great, her voice for two hours. But I love it. I, it's, she's one of my favorite characters. Yeah. I walked away from the movies like I really like John C. Riley's Ralph. She really rocked it. And I then yeah, John C. Riley really awesome like. Too. Her, like, she kind of joined the ranks of Mabel in terms of, like, this is probably one of the cutest voice actors. Because like, <laughs> a lot of Sarah's comedy is very, like, abrasive yeah. and kind of, like, that, in She's your known face. for that, yeah. And that's kind of her, one of her shticks, not her only shtick, because she's a fairly good writer. Oh, buddy. I'm going to get out of here. No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Yeah, press LB to escape. I want to get out of here. By expending a devil breaker. Yeah. Not my good arm. 
I was gonna say, that looks like he's sucking it in and not shooting it out. Plus, considering it's a fucking mouth. Hey, so. yeah, yeah. Ooh, what hey. happens if you don't have a Devil Breaker? Uh, you just don't have those you extra just, abilities. You just get fucking eaten? I don't know. I think he just chews you up, spits you out, and then you have to deal with it. This is a fucking cool boss battle, dude. I know. I just... Do it! Oh, gotcha. I like how it's changing uh, the level and the scenery and stuff like that. I always thought that was cool. I think it was in Mortal Kombat, right? They did the dynamic level system to where, depending on oh, how yeah. you fought or whatever, or was it was De it Mortal Kombat Dead or Alive? It. Uh, Dead or Alive had the in, like the indestructible environments. Okay, okay, yeah. Then you can like destroy a bridge and end up in the water. Yeah, and some shit like that. Right? Tekken did a little bit of that too, I think. I think that's um, fucking awesome. I that was one reason why I liked Devil May Cry, other than the fact of being a teenage boy and. <laughs> Devil May Cry. And, or, uh, uh, not Devil May Cry. I mean, uh, ladies. Dead or Alive. Being a, being, a, being a rebel playing Dead or Alive. <laughs> I remember Mike on Dead or Alive, and uh, we played it, and I was like, I don't even like fighting games, but I like this. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing, too, is there is actually a really good fighting game system, too, but, man, it really relies on its fan service. Uh, probably a little too heavily. I mean, is there anything really wrong with knowing your audience and being no, like, there's nothing, what they like? There's nothing wrong with it, but I definitely aged out of that group. I'm like, you know what? Um, hey, I don't it, like the combat that much. It's pandering, but this is yeah. pandering too. This is pandering too, but oh, that, it's, it's that became pandering in a way where it was like, yeah, I've outgrown this. <laughs> Oh boy, he is so emo. <laughs> just needs a little hat to go with his cane and just tilt it on his way out. Maybe a little. <laughs> Good day, <shot>. sir. <laughs> Good day, sir. I have a panther. It works ninety percent of the time. All the time. Did he just fucking Sonic spin into him? Yeah. I mean, that's cool and all, but <laughs> I was not why expecting that. Wait, why are you? I think he's asking more like, why are you helping him, maybe? Ah. Ow! Out of all the eyes you could have stabbed him in, you hit him right in the forehead. Yeah, I pulled a Ganondorf on him. That's not nice. It wasn't even cool when Link did it. Is that what happened? In Wind Waker, yeah. Link just does a flip in the air and just stabs Ganondorf right into the gemstone of his head. Not cool, man. Not cool, but Ganondorf was trying to, you know, take over the world. So, But did you try therapy and talking with him? You actually, you talked to him quite a bit through that game for once. You actually have a lot of conversations with him. Fuck me, never mind then. <laughs> Other Zelda games, you'd be like, well, he's not much of the conversationalist. He doesn't really like to discuss his feelings. I expect he's not much more than what? Pollen pollen is that what? they get is that the pollen? dust for when they get dusted? A tree that grows in the oh, oh, never mind then. So it was funny watching the timeline video, realizing there's actually a lot more lore to Devil May Cry than I care to yeah. <laughs> pay attention to, and it's actually. I gotta give Devil May Cry credit, like, it actually has built upon its story, but it is one of those things, because the game is so well known for its just gameplay, it tends to take a backseat to its story. Yeah. I forgot the entire story of Devil May Cry 4, and then listening to it, I was like, oh, that's actually, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Except I didn't pay attention to back when I played it on the PS3. I think it's kind of like Call of Duty, it's like, not a whole lot of people remember it for its story. Yeah. Some of it, yeah, like the Black Ops storyline and stuff, really fucking awesome. Modern Warfare 1 and 2 had a great story, which is the only thing I played in those games. <laughs> in guns we trust. That man is huge, dude. Ooh. Ew. Get some alchemy going on. <laughs> she just sniffed that demon penis. Mm, it's like crocodile on Tuesday. She's like, I'm taking this home and I'm going to do things. Just go to the bayou and just, uh... Ew! Ew! Focus on the mission. Ew. Yeah. Stop I mean, insinuating what he puts up his butt and doesn't put up his butt. It's it's very, very specific. He only likes the certain things. Yeah, not those demon horns. It's rank the points. Yeah, here we go. Very nice, get man. Get those red orbs. You're going to get to buy some stuff. Yeah. yeah. Over 15,000. I'm sure there's something you could buy now. Ooh, it even lets you know in details. That's pretty SSAA. cool. To, That's so you can figure good. out how to get higher points and scores and stuff. Yeah, kind of maximize your stuff. Yeah, you're doing well, man. I'm doing pretty well. We will see you guys tomorrow. Well, yeah. Hopefully. I just want to make sure that this load screen doesn't go to a cutscene. It does go to. I was about yeah. to say. I'm pretty sure it goes to a cutscene. So I think yeah. we're still here. <laughs>
Uh, you can't pause during cutscene, no, right? No, I cannot. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of bad. I, I don't like that. I always group. I prefer when games allow you to pause during cutscenes. Yeah. yeah. Well, because I mean, like, what if it's like, you, your mummy's like, hey, it's dinner time, and you're like, shit, I can't fucking. Pause Mom, for... ten more minutes. <laughs> I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> yep. Mom, <laughs> it's an <laughs> online game. I can't pause it. Did she make the? Uh, yes, exactly. Did she make the demon uh, horn into an arm for you? I think so. Yeah, That's I think she used the most materials to make it. Whatever. Demon, demon yeah, horns can be made into metal. She's in the got back the of most band. uncanny valley out of all of them for sure. There's something about her upper lip that just doesn't move a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because her accent makes me feel like he would have, she would have so much facial expression. Yeah, and since it's not there, I'm like, ooh, just doesn't jive with feels, my brain. Yeah, feels a little restrained. Yeah, I feel like the guy that designed Monster Hunter characters designed that bird. It's Capcom, so they're both the same company. I look at that thing, I was like, that's a Monster Hunter monster. Mm. That looks like something you'd see in that game, which Monster Hunter crossover for Devil May Cry. Mm. <laughs> Hmm? She's got some fucking attitude. Fight man. Rathalos and something? She's got something some, else? She's got some fucking attitude. No, she's got tons of attitude. They've all got twos. It's it's cool because her outfit is practical in a way where it's completely impractical because of the cut and style. But yeah. that is a straight up like leather uh welder's jacket. Yeah. But you know, the mid completely impractical. <laughs> the midriff and having like the exposed leggings. You but don't see many mechanics use that. I like how they tried to do a little bit of both. They're like, man, we got to do fan service and pandering. But, but practically, she works still, on guns and stuff. It's still fairly practical in a sense. And she has the gloves. I, I mean, imagine. <laughs> you would want sleeves, man. You'd want sleeves. I, I agree. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm saying there's a, some semblance compared to like yeah. Cindy from Final Fantasy 15. We're like, that's not practical. Well, it's just kind of cool that they like they even got the texture right. Yeah, that's true. It looks really good. So, I mean, good job there for e while doing fan service, also making it, wow, <laughs> also making it realistic in the way being like, well, she would have a welder's jacket and she yeah. would have tools. And, she would. Maybe you know. when she's making it, she puts on the welder's jacket. This is just her casual outfit. I mean, she did make the arm and didn't look like she changed. So, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Someone in the comments is going to be like, well, you also don't see her pooping, Chris, but I bet she does that. You ladies don't poop. <laughs> what is this? I meant all the characters, but specifically since, yeah, we were talking about her. <laughs> yes. All right. We're going to do a little, little shopping off camera, and we'll see you guys next time. Beep, bop, boop. Oh, that's cool. They do the recommended set for the level. Yeah. That's helpful. That is very helpful. I'm going to go with one of each. I, I, there's got to be a way you can go through them. You know? uh, maybe look through the yeah, controls through the or something like stuff. that off camera. See if there's something that uh, that'll allow you to like cycle cycle Buster arms or whatever. Yeah, they call them. Double there's breakers. gotta be a way. 